Scapular push-ups help us train our shoulder protraction and retraction, which helps with shoulder stability and technically gives us a little bit of a stretch in some of those muscles surrounding our shoulder blades, but in a weight-bearing position, which is more similar to when we're using our shoulders in things like forearm stands, bridges, handstands, you name it. So for our traditional scapular push-ups, we can start on hands and knees, palms flat on the floor, or if this ever aggravates your wrists, you can totally do this one on two fists, flattening out your wrists. For this exercise, we are going to keep our arms straight. From here, we're going to squeeze our shoulder blades together, dropping our chest towards the floor. This is our shoulder retraction. Shoulder blades are squeezing together towards our spine. And then still keeping those arms straight, we're going to push into those palms, lift our chest as high as we can. Shoulder blades are going to slide towards the side of our ribs. This is our shoulder protraction. Shoulder blades are squeezing together and coming forwards. This is just like doing a push-up but you're not gonna bend your elbows. We're not bending our elbows at all. Arms are staying locked in the same position. This might feel like you're not moving at all, but that is okay. But we wanna push in our hands as much as we can, separate those shoulder blades, maybe even find a stretch between the muscles, between the shoulder blades. And then we're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together towards our spine. Lifting and lowering our chest, eight to 12 times. If you're very familiar with scapular push-ups or this feels easy and you'd like it to be harder, we can add more weight by taking our knees backwards. So doing this in a knee plank position or tucking our toes, doing it in a traditional plank position. But again, making sure those elbows aren't bending, elbows are staying nice and straight as we lift and lower our chest, letting our shoulder blades initiate the movement. If you liked this video and you're looking for more free flexibility training advice, there's a lot more where that came from on my website, where I regularly post blog posts with stretching tips, as well as detailed stretch breakdowns like this video. You can check it out at dannywinksflexibility.com.